In this episode of Know Your Shortcuts, we're going to be focused on the first steps of controlling your virtual sets with key presses. We'll set up shortcuts to switch between different virtual set camera positions and then look at how to change the content in a virtual screen. Hi, I'm Heath from vMix. This is the third episode of our series covering some of our most useful shortcuts. So if you're new to vMix, be sure to check out the earlier ones that build a bit of a foundation. If you don't have a copy of vMix, grab a free 60-day trial from vMix.com. It'll give you access to all of vMix's features so that you can follow along. If you already own a copy of vMix, the shortcuts in this video are available in every edition so anyone can give them a go. Today we'll be looking at the following shortcuts. Select Index, which allows us to change from one virtual camera position to another, and Set Layer, which allows us to change the content in our virtual set. If you're interested in only one of these shortcut functions, just jump to it in the timeline. Here we are in the vMix interface. I've already added two videos and my camera with embedded audio. We'll be using a virtual set that needs me to have a transparent background. And for best results, I'm going to use a green screen and vMix's color keying feature. So bear with me while I set that up. And if you want to know more about setting up a green screen in vMix, I've dropped a link to a training video all about that in the description. Okay, there we go. I've now added my green screen effect. So it's keyed out and I have no background so that I can bring myself into a virtual set. So let's add a virtual set. So we go down to add input. And then from here, we go to virtual set and we'll pick the number two virtualstudioset.com 15 left and click OK. And there we go, we've got our virtual set. And you can see here that on the left-hand side is a preview of the shot. On the right-hand side are some camera settings. So I'll just quickly show you those. We'll set this to F for fast, and this will allow us to maneuver around each set position. So clicking here, it moves close to me. I'll put that in preview so that you can see it a little bit closer. If I click here, it zooms into a, a mid zoom and then finally we go to the wide shot, which is the full shot there. I'd like to actually adjust that mid zoom so that it's a little bit more zoomed in on the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click that and I'm going to zoom it up a little bit and drag it, zoom it a little bit more and drag it there. There we go, that way if I want to, I can show the screen a little bit bigger. I'll click OK. And now I've got my preview for that position there. So if I click on that, it zooms right in. I'll go back to the main shot now. The next thing we need to do is apply some inputs so that this thing actually looks like a functional virtual set. So we go to Setup, and under the Setup section, we apply inputs to layers. So I will go down to screen one first and I will apply the bees video as my first layer. And there you go. You can see that that's turned up in my little screen there. The other thing that I want to add is the talent and that's me in this instance. So for the talent layer, we're going to add my input, which is input one. Now I'm coming in a little bit big for this particular desk. So as a little bit of a trick, if I grab myself while my layer is selected, I can actually move myself around. You'll see this, here we go, see? So what I'm gonna do is position myself a little bit better and make myself a little bit smaller. So the way you do that is you hold down the shift key and then right click and move to the left and we'll make myself just a bit smaller again, maybe that size and then release the shift key and move me down so that I'm sitting at the bench. There we go. Okay, I'm now set up in my virtual set. Everything's ready to go. It is finally time to actually apply some shortcuts. So the first th one that we're gonna do is some shortcuts to maneuver around these locations that we've already set up. So we'll go up to settings and then we'll go to shortcuts and from here, we'll click on Add and click on Find. Now we're gonna need some keys 
to move around our virtual set. So I'm going to use the greater than and less than keys as well as the M key. Now the reason for that is I'll use the greater than and less than because they kind of look a little bit like arrow keys and it's best not to use the actual arrow keys on a keyboard when making shortcuts because they're really useful for other things as well. So we'll use those two greater than and less than and the M can be our main shot or you know the wide shot. So let's start with that main shot. I'll click on M and OK. For the function it's select index so with all selected I'm going to search for select index. There it is there. For the input, we need to set this to be the virtual set. And finally, for the value, we need to set a number which represents the position. And we've got four positions to choose from. The one that we're doing first is position three. I'll show that to you in just a second. So I'll click three and then Finally, we can give this a title. We might call it the main shot and we can decide whether this is a local shortcut. And I would like it to be a local shortcut because it is specific to this preset. We'll click on OK. We click on OK again. We'll change to a shot such as this and then we will test it out. So if we press the M key, we should be moving to position three, which is this one here because it goes one, two, three, four. Here we go. And there we are. We've moved to position three. So let's just quickly set up positions one and two as well. So for this particular key, I need to use something that kind of indicates that it's going to my shot. I'm off to the right hand side in this particular shot. So I'll use something that looks a little bit like an arrow to the right. I'm not going to use the normal arrow key because that key is best not used for shortcuts because it can be handy for other things. So what I'm going to use is the greater than key or the period or the full stop key that has the greater than above it. So here I'll click on this. I'll click OK. I'll set the function again. Apply the input. Set the value in this case to position one, make it local and click OK. And I'll repeat this one more time and I'll use the other arrow key or less than key or comma key or however you want to take it. Here we go. Applying this to position two, making it local again, clicking OK, OK once more. And there we go. We've now got all of our positions set up. So let's give that a shot. If I put my shot into the main program out, my video automatically starts because that's what happens with videos that are set to their default properties. When they're in output, they'll automatically start. It's a very short video, so it's now stopped. I'm now going to use my uh, greater than and less than keys to move from me to the screen. So going to me, there we go, and to the screen, there we are, and back to the main shot. Ta-da! Okay, we've done that. We've got those shortcuts set up. Excellent. Now it's time to add a shortcut that allows us to change the content in the screen. So you would have already seen this from another training video if you've watched all of our training videos. But like I was showing you before, if you go back to the setup section, here you can see that the screen is a layer. It's layer one. It's written right there. So we can actually go into the settings of this input. We can go to layers. And here you can see that the Bs are currently set to layer one. So what we want to do is have a shortcut, which in this case is called set layer, to switch the Bs out and switch in whatever other content we want. And I've got a lake video that I'll want to switch in. So effectively what we'll be doing is doing this, changing this to this so that it's the other content and then the ability to change it back. 
So that's what we're gonna be doing now with shortcuts. So we'll close that down. We'll go up to the settings again, over to shortcuts, we'll click on add, find, and because this is the content that I'll have in my screen, which if you imagine something like a news program where you're going from story to story, you might be moving through those stories. And so if we use the numbers on the keyboard, that's a nice way to sort of advance through our stories. So for this very first one, we'll use one and click on OK. We'll go to the function. We will set layer, set layer. Click on that, set our input to be our virtual set because that's the input that we want to apply this rule to. And then for the value, we need to set the index and the input. So for the index, the index is the layer position. So for us, that is one. If you remember, it's position one in the layers. And for the input, we want to set our video to be the B's video. And the B's video is input four. So there we go. We just now need to set the local shortcut and click OK. We'll click on OK again. And now the next thing we want to do is set another shortcut that will allow us to play the lake video. So we'll go back to settings, back to shortcuts, click on add, find. This time we'll use the number two because it's the second story or the second video or however we want to interpret it. Click OK, use set layer again. Apply this to our virtual set and set the index to one because again, we're applying this to our screen, which is layer one. And for the input, this time our lake video is input five. Now note, I'm putting a comma between those two numbers because if you have a look under the, under the value title, you can see a description of how to lay out your, your content. And in this case, it is index comma input. And note, there are no spaces. So that's quite important. We'll make this one local as well. Click on OK. Click on OK one more time. And there we go. Now we should be able to use those two keys, one and two, to switch between the different stories. So I'll go to two because we're currently on one. There we go, we've got our lake and I'll switch to one. And we've got our bees. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can move around your virtual set and change the content within it using shortcuts. There's some of the simple, simple ways to do it. In a future video, we'll look at other ways to switch content easily with less buttons and with transitions and cool stuff like that. These things do require a good understanding of how content automatically plays and mutes, and some features require certain versions of vMix. So I'll be sure to go through all that with you too. For now though, I hope that you've found what you need to get started moving around your virtual sets and changing the content using shortcuts. Ah, and just before I leave you, Virtual sets aren't just simulated environments that require green screens like this one that I've got. Some of them are just really handy multi-box sets that make handling multiple sources seamless for your viewers. For these shortcuts, you can move and zoom around and change the content in each box with ease. You can also create your own virtual sets or tweak one of the templates. Actually, we'd love you to get in contact with us in the comments below to tell us how you're using virtual sets and shortcuts and all of that stuff. But if you have any questions about vMix or this video or how to do these things, you can head over to vMix.com. There you can check out our help documentation, our knowledge base articles and our forums. You can also email us from there and our support team will get back to you in a flash. So thanks for joining me on this episode of Know Your Shortcuts. I'll catch you on the next one. Excellent.